Hi, I'm Pastor Cynthia. I usually don't start us out, but today I just wanted to tell you it's going to be the Christmas pageant in a little bit. But to start us out, we have some really talented kids who have been practicing and working hard on their instrument, and they're going to play the prelude for us. We hope you like it. I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. Take in a deep breath of God's presence. I'm Pastor Janine Alexander, and on behalf of First United Methodist Church, the Coppertop, and Hillside United Methodist Church, we welcome you to worship. Today is the third Sunday in Advent and our annual Christmas pageant. It will be different this year as we recorded much of it online and are doing it online, but we know that you will be blessed. Please do share this worship link with others so that they can be inspired as well. Happy birthday to everyone who is celebrating a birthday. And if you're celebrating an anniversary, we wish you a very joyous anniversary. We have some birthdays we want to highlight. Happy birthday to Melana Woolbright, who is turning 12 years old. Happy birthday, Melana. 
Little Michael Flinner is having his first birthday. Michael, happy birthday. Larry Arisman is having a birthday and Patrick Alexander are having birthdays as well. Happy birthday, Larry and Patrick and anyone else celebrating birthdays. A reminder that the Terry Lynn nut sale is still going on, but you only have a couple more weeks to order. The sale ends December 31st. You can buy the nuts online by going to the Coppertop website and all proceeds go to our church youth funds. A reminder that we are participating in a very special Advent Christmas mission project. Look at everything that you have brought in. You brought in toys and gift cards, hats, mittens, scarves and coats, cereal and food items, socks and underwear. Some of you have contributed tangible items, others have given money so that the items can be purchased. We encourage you to keep giving. You can give any of those items throughout this month and know that you are making the world better for people as you do so. Christmas Eve worship is going to happen on Christmas Eve as always. We'll be premiering our video on YouTube at both 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. so that we can be together and make comments with each other. And then you can watch either of those videos after they premiere anytime. Again, today is the third Sunday in the season of Advent. It is the season of joy. Each week in Advent, the season of waiting for the coming Savior, the season where we wait and prepare, we light a candle. I hope you have four Advent candles in a circle and a Christ candle in the center of your circle, and there's still time if you haven't done that yet. Each week we light the candle for that week. And we do it here, and then we also do it at Hillside, and then someone will do it in their home, and we'll do a reading along with the candle lighting. So please light today's candle, the candle of joy. Good morning, we are Tom and Pamela Brown from First United Methodist Church. Thank you for inviting us to your home as we are inviting you into ours. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. We relight the candles of love and hope. Today is a Sunday of joy. Our joy is God and in God's Son, Jesus Christ. Joy is a gift from God. It overtakes us and fills us when we remember what God has done and what God has promised to do. We light the joy candle today to remind us that Jesus came and is coming so that all people might have a rich and abundant life. We thank God for the joy Christ pours into our hearts. Amen.
As we move into our time of prayer, allow your body to relax. Get comfortable right where you are. Close your eyes. You might want to fold your hands so that you're not distracted or open your hands to invite the Spirit's presence. And just allow yourself to calmly breathe. God, we have come this Sunday in Advent waiting for so many things. We wait for a vaccine. We wait for this pandemic to be over. We wait for justice and equality and peace to dwell in our hearts and our world. And so we come to worship seeking your inspiration and your direction so that we can find joy no matter what is happening in our lives and in our world. There is much on our hearts this morning. We pray for those who are lonely and those grieving, those dealing with mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual pain. We pray for all impacted in so many ways by COVID-19. We pray and act for racial equality and justice. We think of those without shelter and food, especially praying for those who will receive the giving from our Advent Christmas project. We pray for immigrants and refugees and those needing welcome. We pray for our nation's leaders that they might have a servant heart and seek the greatest good. And we pray for the Christmas pageant in today's service that your message will be shared in beautiful ways. God, there are many prayers on our hearts and minds this morning. And so now as we share this moment of silence, Hear the prayers from each of our hearts. We seal our prayers together saying, Loving God, Sacred One, blessed be your name. May your kingdom come, your dream arrive, your purpose prevail on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us the wrong we have done as we forgive those who have wronged us. Help us steer clear of temptation and protect us from evil. We trust you in this, for the kingdom, its power, and its beauty are yours forever. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Aunt Lee Collins. Do you know what part of the service we're leading right now? Good morning, Pastor Janine and Congregation. We are leading the offering. The offering is a very important time. We give so that our church can help others. God is happy when we give. Exactly, Atlee. People can give financially to their churches by mailing in their gifts or making donations online or by text. You can get that information on the web pages for each church. Atlee, 
Can you remind everyone of our special Advent Christmas project? We're giving toys. Warm outer clothes, food, especially cereal, underwear, and socks to people who need us. Some of us are giving money for these items. Others are bringing or mailing the items to the church. It makes us happy when we help others. Right, Atlee. You can bring donations to your church today from 11 to noon and put it in the bins outside the church doors or bring to those same bins during the week. Let's pray. God, we thank you for our churches and the good that we do together and for each other. We pray, pray for everyone who will receive each gift we give. Amen. Amen. Once in royal David City stood a lowly cattle shed, where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary, loving mother mild, Jesus Christ, her little child, he came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all, and his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall. With the poor, the scorn, the lowly, lived on earth our Savior holy. Hi, I'm Jojo Coffin Langdon, the Director of Children and Family Ministries at the Copper Top. And I'm Cynthia Coffin Langdon, Hillside Pastor and Youth Pastor at the Copper Top. Today, we just wanted to take a minute to introduce our 2020 Christmas pageant. Yes, it's going to be really good. We did it all virtually through Zoom. Nobody even had to leave their house to do this pageant. So great. Doing our part to keep our children and our families as safe as we can. We do just want to acknowledge that there's a lot of kids who aren't in the pageant this year because of technology difficulties and different things and we miss that we miss the big crowd but we do but we still have a great pageant and we are excited to share it with you today yeah so without further ado we introduce the 2020 christmas pageant god's gift to us it begins at the miller hill mall the hustle, the bustle, the last minute shoppers, people flying around trying to find that perfect gift. Oof. I've had it with Cruz. I just spent six hours at the Miller Hall Mall with everyone else who lives here. I know what you mean. There was a lady at Bath and Body Works who wanted to argue with the clerk about everything. At least you found a clerk. I finally gave up at American Eagle. This is all so exhausting. My feet hurt, my head hurts, and my back hurts. And my credit card hurts.
Nice music. Well, I guess not everyone's at the mall today. That Carol group isn't shopping. Maybe they've already finished their shopping. Or maybe they're smarter than we are. Maybe they shopped online. Yeah, but then if you get your gift, you might not get your gift in time. Everything these days takes forever. Who knows? But hearing the song Jingle Bells reminds me of a chiming clock that my grandma used to have in her dining room. My grandma! Oh no, I forgot to get a gift for my grandma. Is there still time? What time is it? It'll be midnight before I finish shopping. It came upon the midnight clear That glorious song of old From angels bending near the earth To touch their hearts of gold Peace on the earth, goodwill to all From heaven's all gracious King carolers were singing Christmas is a time of peace on earth hmm I usually feel like Christmas is a time of panic there's so much to remember you have to do the cards and the cookies and the decorating and the programs and the parties parties on zoom I have three parties I'm supposed to be at tomorrow at the same time I only have one computer forget about tomorrow it's about the shopping and finding that perfect gift you may have forgotten your grandma, but I've been looking for over a week for the perfect gift for my mom. Right, it's gotta be perfect. What do you want to give her? I'm not exactly sure. It has to be beautiful and unusual and well, I don't know, just glorious. Angels, we have heard of sweetly singing o'er the place. And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. That's a lot more than I can say for the three of us. Maybe we're missing something. There must be more to this season than the hustle and bustle. The baking and taking. The zooming and eating. The shopping and the dropping. 
Hey guys, I figured I'd find you here today. You all look exhausted. Totally. The pressure of finding that perfect gift is just too much. I totally forgot about my grandma and I have no idea what to get her. And my mom. I've looked everywhere. She has everything she needs. What else can I get her? There must be a better reason for the season. For sure. I wanted to tell you that. Hey, do you guys hear that? I hear some music playing from somewhere. Listen. that Christmas carol. Did you hear it, Ella? Yeah. Somebody had a baby named Jesus. And the poor thing didn't even have a bed to sleep in. I really think we need to hear more. Let me tell you the story. I'm going to read it straight from the Bible. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 14. In those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax list. The first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth to Galilee to David's city, called Bethlehem in Judah. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage and who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly and laid him in the manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Nearby, the shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you. Wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is the child. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. Well, it must have been a wonderful night. Yeah, a glorious night. A holy night.
better than when I first sat down on this bench. Those carolers, the songs, and the Bible story have helped me get the idea of what Christmas is really about. Thanks, Abby, for meeting us here and reading us that story. I don't feel so stressed about trying to find the perfect gift for my grandma. How did you become so wise? Confirmation class. Really? Well, I'm going to church online or in person when we can and singing Christmas carols, and praying, and finding things to be thankful for, and just doing a lot of reminding myself what Christmas is all about. I see your peacefulness and calmness. I want that too. I don't want to keep waiting to find that perfect gift. Or worrying about the wrapping, delivering, or paying for the gifts. I know it's easy to get caught up in all the things. It can even be fun, and that's okay too. But when we remember what Christmas is about, a baby, a little baby that came to love us and teach us how to live. And a baby that didn't have to buy the perfect gift for his mom? Exactly. When we remember Jesus, God's gift to us, we remember the most important things about Christmas is love. Loving each other, our families, and our neighbors. Loving those who don't have beds to sleep in or food to eat. Christmas is about hope. Hope that someday we can be together again and hug each other without having to worry about being sick. Christmas is about sharing our time, sharing ourselves, and reaching out to each other. I bet my grandma would really just love it if I would call her more often. I bet my mom, when she asked me how I'm doing, would love for me to answer with more than just one word, fine, you know? Like in complete sentences and stuff. <laughs> right. Grace and Kiki, showing we care, giving gifts, like things we make or buy, is a fun and is one way to show we care. But I'm sure your mom and grandma will think of whatever you get them is great because it's from you and you care about them and thought they would like it. Yeah, now you're right on track. The gift of each other, celebrating love in its many forms, reaching out in kindness is what it's all about. The gift of loving, just like the gift of Jesus. God's gift to us is to know we are loved and God is with us. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone. And a Happy New Year. Please join me in singing Joy to the World. Yes. 
much for joining us today. What a celebration. We hope you enjoyed the pageant. We thank everybody who participated, the kids who sang and played, the confirmation class who acted, all the, all the musicians and the adults who were the carolers. And thank you to Alex Flinner for putting it all together so we could see it today. Just thank you, everybody. And next week, you'll want to come back. I heard that there is going to be a visitor from the past. You're not going to want to miss that one. And for today, may God bless you. May you have it in your heart, the reason for the season. It's not about the perfect gift. It's about Jesus, God's son, God's gift to us. It's about love and kindness. May you go and spread that today. Amen.